Missouri softball entering today's doubleheader against Truman State at 32 and 15. Truman just one spot ahead of DU in the conference standings. The Bulldogs win game one, three to one. DU looking for the split heading into game two. Drury throwing Casey Caceres. Caceres has been spicy this season. 12 and three with a 2.45 ERA. She'll have to deal with Krista Reisinger coming off two home runs in the first game. And right on cue, Reisinger takes strike three looking. A very rare strike at only the fourth for her on the entire season. Next up, Emma Walbert. She goes down looking as well and Caceres Saris bringing it early, back-to-back -back strikeouts to open the game. Bottom of the first, Drury effectively playing small ball, one on one out for Kinsey Mathis. The shortstop hits it up the middle. J.C. Ummel advances to third. Mathis would steal second, so two on for Haley Greeno, the pitcher from game one, now the designated player, and she lines it past the shortstop. RBI single for Greeno and Drury on top, 1-0 after the first, but not for long. Bottom of the second, two outs, runner on third. Lauren Bowman slaps one out to right field. That brings in a run, and we are tied at one apiece. Jump to the bottom of the fifth now. D.U. down. 2-1, to one, but a big-time opportunity for Drury. One out, runner on first. Kaylee Smith walks. The pitch is wild. Terstig advances all the way to third from first. Smith to second. J.C. Ummel up to bat. Coach Aaron Brown wants a pitching change first. She brings in Hyduke, who pitched in game one. How much juice is left in that arm? Very first pitch. Ummel gets all of it to center. Both runners come home. RBI double for Ummel, who gives Drury a 3-2 to two lead. Bottom of the six now. Drury not done. Two outs, one on. Madison Hecker singles into left center. Runner scores from second, 4-2 to two, Drury keep it going, bases loaded for Ummel after Smith gets hit by a pitch, Ummel with her second big chance today, she takes it to left center and boy Sometimes parents just get too excited, even when they know the camera's right behind them. Ummel unloads the bases with a double for her third, fourth, and fifth RBIs. I wish you could have seen it. I promise it was great. 7-2 DU, still not done. After a walk, there's two on. It's Greeno again who lines it up the middle, and Drury getting everything it wants in the bottom of the sixth inning as the pitching change experiment for Truman proving costly. High Duke out after surrendering seven runs in 1.1 innings. It's 8-2, and Serenity Healy looking to force an ending to this one, and the sophomore unloading leashes a two RBI double and run rules Truman State 10 to 2 in the sixth the final score as the floodgates open for Drury DU earns the split on the afternoon series oh uh, we are a very feisty group I don't know if you've noticed that throughout the games so whenever we feel kind of closed in we kind of that's extra motivation for us to really bust it open and show them how we're flipping the program around. They, they have a fighting spirit like I've never seen before. You know, I've coached 26 years, 26 teams, you know, and, the, you know, and this is one of the best comeback teams we've ever had. They do not say die, they do not quit. They are resilient, they bounce back, and um, you know, you don't want to live that way, but, but that, that's, how they, that's how they play, that's how they compete, and we're never out of it whenever we're down.